Watercare apologised to Aucklanders today as it embarked on an emergency bypass build around the sinkhole and its blocked sewage pipe. Eight of 40 affected sites have returned results for high faecal matter. And a scientist told News Hub the millions of litres of human waste flowing into the Waitamata Harbour will be destroying everything in its immediate path. Nick Trubridge has the story. It may be windsurf weather, but take a fall and forget salt water. You could be drinking wastewater as poos from the loos of Parnell pours into the harbour. You've got the bacteria, the viruses and other things that are in human uh, waste in the water. They persist in the water for, for weeks. So uh, there's a risk there because you might swallow it or you just, uh, you know, get it in, in a, any part, of any orifice. <laughs> so most were sticking to the shore today, but what about those underwater, snapper and other sea life? For them, this sinkhole and sewage spill is serious. Or well, anything that was living there would be, would be ex extinguished. So you'd expect a footprint around where the pipe's emptying into the sea to be basically killing everything on the seafloor. Um, within a wider radius, uh, it'll be choking uh, any organisms uh, that are filter feeding. M many, many uh, marine organisms filter feed oysters, mussels, sponges. The tennis court sized sinkhole formed last week when the earth caved in on the sewer 13 metres below, creating a blockage. From above, the red line is the Orake main sewer. The green line is the new bypass. The aim's to build it within 10 days. Needless to say, it is our single minded focus remedying this uh, blockage and preventing the overflows from occurring. So we are working diligently. There are quite literally hundreds of people involved in this. For now, these greet Aucklanders seeking a school holiday soak. We're saddened by the overflows that are occurring and we apologise sincerely to Aucklanders. In my 35 years in the wastewater industry, you know, that's my job, is to make sure wastewater overflows don't occur. So we're, we're sincerely apologetic about it. And with wind forecast, the sand may not be safe either. And the other risk is just airborne. These particles get blown off the surface of the water so you get droplets containing bacteria, viruses, people breathe them in and you get uh, respiratory illnesses or sicknesses from that. So there's a, you know, given the amount of wind we've had in Auckland over the last few days, there's a, there's a real risk within probably a, at least a kilometre radius. And if you've caught dinner off the rocks, don't eat it. What would happen to you if you uh, ate a wee snapper out of this water behind us right now? Well, I wouldn't be eating a snapper out of this water. <laughs> Basically, give the beach a miss. Nick Trubridge, News Up.